What is up, guys? It's Gage here. Welcome to your Bakdat. And today, we're going to be talking about something that all of us Buccaneers fans are very interested in. Brian Lefwich fired? Should he be fired? Right, right after this game. 100%. 100%. And a lot of us, a lot of us, been saying this for a, a long time since that, like, since we started to see what the play calls are starting to look like. What? I'm um, letting this dude every first down runs it. Most of the time, he runs it. Run, 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 run. run. Doesn't change anything, man. Doesn't change anything. Either that or he goes pass heavy. You can't have it. You gotta have medium, man. You can't run heavy or pass heavy, man. You gotta kind of make a little bit of both. But Leftwich, Leftwich, this is his first. And we're seeing this really now. Even though he's been a play caller, this is like his fourth season. But he really has been a play caller. He's been really assistant under Bruce Aarons because Bruce Aarons was the one that called all those plays. And now. Since Bruce is retired and uh, working with Jason Lent, um, Jason Light, now he we're seeing there the full offense corner of Brian Leftwich, and it is severely disappointing. Severely, Leftwich just <laughs> a guy that I would I don't want anymore. I wish he would have got hired last year. That would have been the awesome end for Leftwich as a Buccaneer. But now he's going to end on a bad note for us because his play calls are atrocious. And it's one thing. Obviously, we've had bad coordinators that had the past over the course of 50, 50 years. But, but it's how you stay as a leader that really matters. This dude, this one was awesome. So, why do you run on the first down? J.C. Allen is asking him this. Why do you run on the first down? Or, I think he said like all, usually every first down of every game. Like starting out the first quarter. Um, so is this, I'm not sure if it's stubbornness or... Well, what is it? Why, why do you keep running on the first down even though it has not been effective? And, and this is Brian Leftwich. That's a fantasy question. I don't even know what kind of question is that. A fantasy question. That's a legit question, Brian Leftwich. Why do you keep running? It hasn't been effective, man. And we're losing games. Not just, You can play Tom Brady all you want. Tom has been, you know, he hasn't played to his level, but he hasn't been playing horrible either. He, he's playing good enough to win. What are you doing? Obviously, Tom is doing his job. Somewhat. Um, the t a defense is doing his job. You're in charge of offense. What are you doing, bro? We have Name Twin over there. We have Goblin Healthy. We got Julio Jones. We got Mike Evans. What is your excuse, bro? What is your excuse as offense coordinator and leader of this offense? Because obviously it has not went. We're five and six. We have a losing record, and we have we might have lost a lot. Of, we had a lot of injuries, but those are workable, man. What the hell are you doing, bro? What the hell are you doing? And you, you and Todd Bowles are gonna be on Zach get to very ruin the season for us. One, they're gonna be one of the biggest downfalls for us. That's what I. That's what I think, man. Freaking like, what the hell, man? Leftwich, a hundred percent should be fired. Like, honestly, if I if I had it my way, obviously Todd Bowles, you can't fire in the middle of the season, especially if you're trying to win a Super Bowl. So Todd will have to stay, unfortunately. But Leftwich should be fired, and Todd Bowles should be making that decision. That could be a real good step as a leader for him. Because he has a bit of leader as a head coach. He uh, first step could be firing Leftwich, then hiring a quarterback coach to be an offensive coordinator, which has worked with Tom, 
and he has experience of being an offensive coordinator, I believe, in the in Neapolis Colts when Bruce Harris was the head coach there. If I'm correct, it's it's I haven't looked at it in a while, so. But he, he does have experience as offensive coordinator, and has been Tom's quarterback coach for the past four seasons. I think he'd be great with Tom. And I believe it's Tom Clements is his name. Um, him and Tom have worked together, have that chemistry together. So I believe they would do well together. That's what I would do as a leader of this team. Obviously, this from a fan's perspective, maybe they don't work there as office coordinator. But we need to do something. We need to make a change because this team... Under left, which is offensive coordinator, has been atrocious. We had our moments, but they were still not winning ball games, which is the most important. And Todd Bowles, we mentioned that I mentioned that earlier video. He has not uh, done his job as head coach. So that is my fault on Todd Bowles. I mean, Todd, not Todd. I already gave a fault to Todd Bowles. Um, Brian Leftwich. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like and subscribe, and uh, I hope you buck that.